I've spent months just trying to find a way for to play mods on Aternos with my friends. Yes, I've spent months, but I have found a I have found a solution that I want to share with you guys so that a uh, new Aternos members who wants to join modded Minecraft servers doesn't have to suffer again. So yeah, enjoy the video, subscribe. Hello guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how to install mods into Aternos. And then if you're playing on T-Launcher, you could play with your friends at the same time on multiplayer. So let's get started. So first thing you wanna do is go to Aternos and make and make a server. And then after that you can you can rename it all you want. I'll just rename this. Like for example, cave dweller and then create this server. And before you do it, go to software and then go to forge download mo forge for mods and then go to 1.20.1 why 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 1.20.1 is going to be important later in the video so install this one i'll install that one with a star reinstall yes reinstall and then after that you go to mods and then after you go to mods, you see there's some mods right here. So what you want to search is Cave Dweller. And then after, and then after this, you select Cave Dweller, Cave Dweller Reimagined. And then, but first, before installing this mod, you first want to go and install Gecko Lib. Why? It's because it's basically a mod that that uh, supports the 3D animation. Like, and then download the first one here, 1.20.1. Download it and wait until it says check. And then go back to Cave Dweller. Go to Cave Dweller Reimagined. And then download this too. And then once you you once you finish that, go to options, and then select whatever you want. I'll go with normal, survival, and then make sure to, to turn on craft like that, so your friends and you could play on the server. Okay, now that that's settled settled. Okay, now you're telling me. How do I play in the game? Well, if you want to play in the game, what you want to do is go to open up CurseForge. Launching up. And if you don't have CurseForge, might as well just go download it. You can download it by going to, to CurseForge download. And then you can download it on the link right here. To get the curse forge up you can download an overwolf or download in standalone but i suggest download it on overwolf and then once you've you finish that sign in if you want to and then here are here are the mods i have but that's not important what you want to go what you want to do is go to browse and then after browse so here is an important note if you're installing, you must have the same mods on the Aternos server. You must have the same mods on your T launcher too. So if you don't have the same mods, it won't work. So if you're just playing on an Aternos server with mods and you're playing vanilla Minecraft with literally no mods, it will not work. So this is why Curse Forge comes into the rescue. So what you want to do is go to select you can select the mod that you've selected the same mod that you have on the Aternal server selected on Chris Forge so go to get first 
and then after you're in Gecko Lib. Say like the first one since this is the first this is the same Gecko Lib from the Aternal server. And then what you wanna do is click install. Create a profile, name it whatever you want, and then name it Gecko. You can select a Minecraft version. And hold on actually. Since we're playing on 1.20.1, since that's the only available, we can go ahead and select in the very bottom Gecko Lib Forge. It and then you have to make sure that it's Forge, not Neo Forge, not Fabric. It has to be Forge because the server we're playing at is for Forge. So yeah, 1.20.1. Install that one. Create a profile. Name it whatever you want. And then create. And then it's in it it's installing right now. So just wait for that to install. And actually, after it's done installed, don't do anything yet. But let's go to the same mod pack from their Atherno server. It's called Cave Dweller Reimagined. Go ahead, click that, select Cave Dollar Imagine that's the same one as the mo as the Aternos modded server. Click on versions. You can see here Cave Dollar 1.20.1 plus one. That's for 1.20.2. Forge, install that. Name it whatever you want. And then after it's installing. After they're both installed, go here, go to this three dotted one, and then open folder. This will lead you to the Cave Dweller Mods folder. And then go to Minecraft or T Launcher. And what you want to do is go to the settings, press settings, and then in the Minecraft settings directory, go to browse, and then go to desktop. And then what you want to do here is to create a folder and then to name it hey, the same name Cave Dweller Reimagined. Then after that, and then you want to go ahead and create a folder. You can I can't do that because I already have one, and I name it Cave Dollar Reimagine the same as, as the mod I installed, and then create another folder right here, and then go and then create and name it Gecko Lib like this. So once you have both of those installed, uh, no need just ignore the other ones. So it's just this main two parts. After that, you go ahead and open, save, and then after that. After you're done installing it, uh, make sure that the game is at Forge 1.20.1, same version that the mod is installed in and the Aternas is installed in. So make sure it's at least Forge or Forge Optifine. I'm going with Forge Optifine because I like Forge Optifine. And then af after that, what you want to do is press your press the file button. After that, and then go to the file that the mod is installed. What you want to do is select all of those, select copy, and then after that, go ahead here and press paste. Replace files in the destination. Yes, and after that, they're both there. Go ahead and close this one. Don't close this one though, because we're still gonna need this. And then after that, close or no, uh, just don't close. Just go to Forge Optifine, go to Mod Packs, go to the Gecko Lib one, press Open Folder to the same one, and then go ahead into your T Launcher folder. Go copy both of these and then select copy 
and then go back to cave dweller or the my or the t launcher one and then press paste replace file in the destination and then after that they're both already there and then close all of these and then what you want to do is to is to is go ahead and start the server yes i accept the ue eula and then after that while it's loading enter the game you can go ahead and close curse forge and then you wait until it's done and while that's they're both online and then here's your minecraft you can go ahead you can see you can see that five mods are loaded you can go to mods you can see gecko lip and cave dweller select done go to multiplayer yes do not show this again and then hell no and then you can go ahead make your server call it whatever you want cave dweller server modded and then after that you can go ahead and copy your uh, IP of the server and then after that you can go ahead select control V select done and then after that says server modded it's saying pinging you can go ahead and refresh you can go ahead and hit refresh and then it's gonna say it's gonna say the servers on but then incompatible fml modded server but that's okay just press play and then it's gonna say joining world loading terrain and then after that you'll be in the server and now you are finally in the server and then what do you want to do after this and let's see if the cave dweller is actually in the server so yeah so what you're gonna go is go to players we can see that i'm online right there that's my account and then what you want to do is go ahead select operator select operator yes i'm gonna now i am an operator now i can go ahead click slash summon summon and then you can see there cave dweller cave dweller select that and then you have the cave dweller in your aterno server you can play with this with friends so yeah have fun and so yeah so yeah have fun and please subscribe i need it anyways good luck on your minecraft server and stay tuned for more videos and i'm probably gonna make a series out of this so yeah subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye